who are actually getting something done. You know, I'm part of a, a pretty marginally uh, functional uh, institution. It's called the United States Congress. But saying that, there's an area where we actually have some hope. It's energy efficiency. There is an enormous uh, bond between a lot of very conservative uh, members and very liberal members on something that I share with Cory Gardner. We're both cheap. And anything that we can do that saves money, we kind of like. And cheap is good when it comes to energy, because what you understand is that a kilowatt hour is the cheapest when it's produced by efficiency. That's real. You know, we had that in Vermont where we started uh, we started the Vermont Energy Efficiency Utility. And we were the first state that actually went low growth negative. And this was before uh, we had that recession in 2008. And as a result of efficiency efforts, and you all are pioneering on those efforts, uh, we avoided the cost of very expensive billions of dollars worth of generating facilities. And of course, all of those generating facilities generally use fossil fuels that adds obviously uh, to global uh, to climate change. So what I find so exciting about energy efficiency is that it creates an opportunity for a partnership between the public sector and the private sector. What you need from the public policy sector is the kind of things that we did in Vermont, an energy efficiency utility, uh, renewable energy goals, uh, efficiency goals, uh, 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 standards, compliance standards, all of these things that create a level playing field. They're not uh, putting uh, the, the, the weight on one side or the other, but it's creating policies where then you can operate and come up with concepts uh, and products that are going to allow for a more efficient use of this resource energy. And you guys all know this when preaching to the choir. But what I love about it, come on, is that I meet a lot of uh, like local carpenters and plumbers uh, and home repair people and retrofitting folks. It's everyday people who are looking for work uh, and have the skill that can then make my house uh, use less energy, be warmer and tighter and cozier in a cold Vermont winter. Uh, and then you see some of these big companies uh, that I work with in our energy savings performance contracts that can actually bid to work in the Pentagon, let's say, and make that energy efficient. They put the money up in advance uh, to make the retrofits required and get paid as the energy savings are accrued. So there's a lot of sensible policies that we can have where we don't have to get into you know, this incredible debate about whether climate change is real or it isn't. You know, I do work with some of the best minds in the 18th century around here. We're still, we're still trying to figure that out. But we don't have to resolve it. Because even in the 18th century, people like you, you know, saving money. So you're finding the practical ways to do that. What you need from us uh, in Congress are practical policies that allow you an even shot at being successful. And what's so fantastic about uh, any success you make, whether it's just a slightly more efficient appliance you, you devise, retrofitting a home, getting a big contract uh, with a major federal building for energy savings performance contract, is we're creating local jobs. This is all about employment. We're saving money, uh, which is all about uh, taxpayer dollars, business dollars, homeowner dollars, uh, and we are actually reducing carbon emissions. So this is like the gold standard. And one of the things that I find inspiring working with you and the more so sometimes than working here. A lot of times in Congress we're into denying the existence of a problem. In real life you have to face problems, and in real life what you realize is that when you face problems, you solve problems, and you feel better about it yourself, the people you work with. So denial is not a climate change policy. It's not an economic policy. Energy efficiency, renewable energy, is a jobs policy. It's an economic policy and it's an environmental policy. So to my, from the bottom of my heart, to each and every one of you, thank you for providing the inspiration uh, to folks in Congress on both sides of the aisle who believe that the work you're doing is absolutely vital to the future of this country, of our economy, and our environment. And
it's a pleasure uh, to be here with you today. Thank you.